let's just get going with this. So I'm gonna start off by priming my lids with the Tarte Lid Lock in Buff. I've been loving this. I've talked about it a bunch of times. Also, the cap is just like cool, it's like amber. And you don't need to use a lot of this. It like cancels, it's pretty opaque, so it cancels out like anything on your lids. Oh no, that's Harpoon. Wait, now I'm so confused. Okay, I was, I called these the wrong names. I literally just uploaded um, a photo and this is, see, I suck it. I suck when the when the names are on the back. This is Harpoon. I said it was Turboson, totally messed that up. And then this is Turboson. So I wanna try Turboson because I haven't tried it yet. I've tried all the other colors. But yeah, I wanna try this, but I also wanna wear hot fire on my lips. So I don't know what to do, but that could look pretty cool, right? Like kind of a mossy, smoky eye. So we're just gonna do it. And oh, I don't know what to do with my, with my, I don't know what to do with my crease. So I'm gonna start off with my crease with this shade right here. This is the contour shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette palette. And I'm gonna use my Morphe Y19 brush. And just add like a little bit of definition. I feel like I wanna dip into the uh, Anastasia subculture palette. So this is just gonna act as my transition shade. And then I'm gonna bring this up into like the inner part, like right underneath my eyebrow, and then kind of bring it down back to the crease. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Mercury from the Anastasia Subculture palette, and I'm gonna pick this up with like a light hand. I might mix it with Dawn as well, because I don't want it to be too intense. Like I don't want the eye to be so smoky that I can't wear hot fire on my lips, you know what I mean? And then I'm just gonna focus this on the outer part of the crease. So kind of following that shape that we just created. And then I'm gonna go back over it with that bronze shade from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, just to blend it out a little bit more. I want the crease to be really subtle because I want it to be all about the lid. Like I don't want this to get way too smoky or too intense. So I'm gonna pick up Turboson, and first I'm gonna spritz my finger with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, um, and then I'm just gonna start working this in on the lids. Oh damn, that's so good. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks way more green in the pan, but it's like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it's, it's like mossy. It's also got some kind of gray and then it's got gold, but it's also kind of cool toned. This is fun. That color is really nice. That looks so nice. And I love the formula, it's really lightweight. All right, so I went in with like kind of a light amount so that I was able to blend it up into the crease. So I'm just gonna hit the center of the lid with a little bit more. I love that color. All right, I'm gonna just blend, do a little bit more blending in the crease. So I'm gonna pick up those shades from the subculture palette. Just do a little bit, like kind of bring it down a little bit more into the lid. I'm gonna use the Morphe M507 to do this. I just want it to be like a little bit more concentrated. How does that look? I feel like I made it too light. I don't know. I wanna blend the green a little bit more, so I'm gonna pick up uh, Mercury and Destiny from the Anastasia palette. And just blend right in there. Kind of bring those two together. That lid is everything. It's so quick and easy when you just like know what you want, when you just do like a shade on the lid, you know? You do like a little bit of blending in your crease, shade on the lid, and boom, you're done. Kind of wanna deepen up right in here, so I think I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of those two shades. Just like add a little bit more definition to the inner part. I don't know, it's looking a little bit flat. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna do kind of the same progression. So I'm gonna use that bronzer shade from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, just to start off and do like a little bit of smoking. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix Mercury and Destiny and then focus this more on the outer part and the lower lash line. But I wanna keep the lower part of the eye pretty light. Just like a little bit of definition, not too smoky. This might be too smoky for some of you though. So I'm just focusing it really close to the lash line, especially on the outer part, and then just blending it down. All right, I'm gonna highlight before, I'm gonna do like the rest of my face. So I'm gonna do blush and highlighter before I finish off my eyes. So just zoom you out a little bit. Got pineapple hair going on right now. Just ignore it, we're gonna take care of it later. All right, I'm gonna use Blush Like You Mint It from Dose of Colors. This is from their uh, Mint For You collection. Okay, so the name of it is Amazement Blush. I already did bronzer and contour and all of that stuff before I started the video. All right, and for highlight, I'm gonna be going in with Fuego. This is so incredible. I've been wearing this 
since I got it. It's the only highlighter that I've been using. And yesterday I was at an event and Patrick Ta asked me what my highlighter was. He said it was amazing and I told him it was this. So if Patrick Ta thinks that this highlighter is amazing, then you know it's amazing. Okay, all right, and I'm just gonna apply this with my Morphe brush. Same one that you guys have been seeing. Are you ready for that? I'm just gonna take it all over. Just gonna go all over. I'm gonna bring it up onto the temples. All right, and then for um, like my nose highlight, um, just basically my nose highlight and my like Cupid's bow highlight, I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of Tarte, Tarte Exposed highlighter because um, that part of my face is just really, really light. So I don't want to leave any kind of like a peachy cast. I want it to be a little bit more light. Okay, never mind. I can't find it. So I'm just gonna use the highlighter from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, this guy right here. All right, and from the inner corner, I'm just gonna pick up Fuego on my Morphe M507 brush and just pile it on in, man. I'm just gonna go right in. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes with the Tarte Lash Curler. I love this lash curler. It doesn't cut my lashes in half like the other one that I had did. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. This mascara is getting to the sweet spot where it's like a little bit dried out. So it's just like absolutely perfect. All right, and for lashes, I'm going in with the Ardell Double Up Wispies. I discovered these recently at Ulta and they're just like so perfect for when you actually want your eyeshadow to show through. They're not too heavy and they have a clear band. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Hot Fire on my lips, but I want to go in with a slightly darker lip liner to overline them. So I'm gonna go in with a Painted Earth Maraschino. And then I'm just gonna feather around the outer edge to give my lips a little bit of a depth to make it a little bit less obvious that I overline them. All right, I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna go in with Hot Fire. Oh my God. This is so much more neon than I thought it was going to be. Okay, that color is insane. Okay, I got a little bit carried away because I was so excited. So I need to do a little bit of cleanup around the edges. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Whew, that is good. You know, my first favorite color like this was Joseph Color's Coral Crush, and I haven't been able to find it, but I would like to be able to compare the two and just kind of see, because I haven't worn it in such a long time. All right, I'm just going to set my face with the Tarte Re Ready Set Radiant Mist. All right, so first of all, let's just talk about these colors. Hot Fire is exactly that. It is hot fire. This is the most incredible neon shade I've ever put on my lips. I honestly can't even compare it to anything. The only thing that I would think is kind of similar is Doll from Kylie Cosmetics. There's a hair in front of my face. Um, and I want to compare the two, but I can't find Doll anywhere, which is kind of stressing me out. But Doll was, I think, my favorite color when I saw it, but I love the Dose of Colors formula so much more. So now I think this is going to replace it. Plus, as far as names go, Doll, Hot Fire. So overall, I just wanted to let you guys know that this collection is absolutely incredible. It's amazing. I was watching the behind the scenes, like how they came to create the collection with Anna and everything, their videos on uh, the background. And I literally like teared up watching it. <laughs> it's so amazing because everyone's kind of been able to go on this journey with them, follow it and their friendship. And it's, it's amazing. And I can't believe they were able to keep this under wraps for so long. After two years of developing it, I think they did an incredible job. The packaging is, unreal it is absolutely stunning everything goes beautifully like i love the nudes every single element of the packaging matches beautifully like there's nothing that's off sometimes you can tell like oh a cap is not quite what you want for someone who really pays attention to that stuff like packaging is so huge for me i think the aesthetic element of makeup is so important because it is so visual they did an incredible job this is probably the best packaging that i have ever seen for any makeup product ever, in my opinion, like that appeals to me. As far as the products go, I don't think I have one single bad thing to say about any of them. I am a huge fan of Dose of Colors, so I already love the formulas of the like the liquid lipsticks. I have to say that the first highlighters that Dose of Colors launched, the other ones, um, Milk and Honey is one of my favorites, it's very intense, like it's very like like it is a foiled, it's like putting a foiled shadow on your cheekbones. The highlighters that they formulated are so unique to me. I have a very difficult time explaining them. I would never think that a highlighter this dark 
would work for, for my skin. It's even when I'm this tan, this is as tan as I get, but it works perfectly. I have not tried it when I'm fair yet, but I would probably use it as a blush overlay, possibly both of the shades. Um, this is Fuego. Mirame, Mirame, I don't speak Spanish. It's definitely too dark for me, but I think it would be fantastic as either a blush overlay or like a bronzer overlay because it just gives you this sheen. Like it just gives your skin a healthy sheen, a healthy glow. It's the only way I can describe it. Uh, typically a shade like this would leave sort of a cast on my skin, not a light cast, but a darker cast when I turn my face but this doesn't do that at all. It's like the product itself, the pigment in it is incredibly sheer. So you are really just getting that light sheen. It's kind of like a golden peachy color too. So it's incredibly flattering. I was afraid it would be too warm, but it's not at all. I, I think it's amazing. And I've been wearing it every single day since I got it. I'm sweating. The eyeshadows are incredible. I love the shades that they picked. I love that they did a palette of shimmers because they explained that they always go for the same mattes and I totally the same way. The mattes that I choose are almost always my contour colors, my contour or bronze colors. Like that's what I throw in my crease. And then when you want a little something on your lid or you want like a crazy intense inner corner highlight, uh, Suze is that inner corner highlight. Like it is so bomb, but it also looks beautiful in the lid. Noli is probably the most incredible bronze shade I've ever used in my entire life. I wore it last night. It's not too orangey or too warm. Harpoon is so incredibly unique because it has kind of a warm sort of plummy. They're so difficult to explain, sort of plummy and also kind of um, like a burgundy to it when you kind of move. So it works really nicely with warmer colors, those reds and stuff. And then I don't even know what to say about Turboson. I'm wearing it on my lids right now. It's the most incredible, It's if you can't call it green, it has a gold reflect, it's kind of khaki, it's got a little bit of like a, a cool tone grayish blue in there. It's very unique and I love the I love the formulas. I would say personally, I think most of them work pretty well with your fingers, except Turboson. You definitely have to, uh, like they said, it's a wet shade. You have to get your finger wet and they do apply beautifully using your finger all over the lid. They are, they're, they're meant for being applied with your finger. It's a little bit difficult to pick them up with a brush. So that's to be expected. But if you use a small kind of flat brush or I use my CCB 103 brush, if you spritz it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, you can pick some of them up and use them like on your lower lash line. I have done that and it works beautifully. The lipsticks are incredible. Hot Fire is obviously just the most beautiful shade. Uh, it is exactly that, it is Hot Fire. It's an incredible neon, neon orangey red coral. <laughs> it's like, all, it's all of those. It fits under all of those categories. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously the Dose of Colors formula is incredible. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. They always come out with the best colors. Sauvage is just like, it's like velvet. It's like a deep, I don't wanna say black velvet, but it's like a deep, deep burgundy black velvet. That's what it reminds me of. It's incredibly long wearing. I wore it yesterday. I was eating for hours and it didn't come off at all. The bullet lipsticks are two incredible nudes. When I first saw swatches of them, um, and I think when I saw them in their first video, when they were wearing them, they looked a little bit more peachy. So I was a little like, uh, I don't know, because peachy tones can sometimes make my teeth look yellow or they just look crazy on me because I have a weird skin tone, but they're not. They're perfect nudes. They're absolutely perfect nudes, both of them. More Creamer Please is a beautiful, more, a little bit more warm nude, but it works because it's, a, it's slightly darker. It looks absolutely stunning on light and medium skin tones, definitely. Uh, I know Desi was saying that this was the perfect one, the perfect undertone for her skin. And I would have to agree, it's not too cool, but it's not too warm, but it still has that warmth. It still gives life to the lips. And then no shade is, it's the same thing. It's more pinky and a little and a little lighter, but it's not too cool toned or too pink. That doesn't look good. I hate pinky nudes. And this is like the perfect pinky nude. They both kind of have like a little bit of a beigey undertone in them. So it makes them just like so much more universally flattering. In my opinion, I think it's so stunning for medium to light skin. And I really like uh, doing an ombre with them because it just makes your lips, it gives your lips like an extra pout. It makes them like a little bit more, gives them a little more, what am I trying to say? Meat. And then of course the gloss is absolutely stunning. It's just beautiful to look at. Uh, it goes perfectly with everything. Like I just love, I do, I love how everything came together. The aesthetic of everything just looks absolutely incredible. And the gloss is absolutely just like the perfect little cherry on the top. I've tried it over the bullet lipsticks. I haven't tried it over the liquid lipsticks yet, but I'm interested in doing that. The applicator is so comfortable and it smells amazing. I wore it the other day without anything on 
just the gloss, like nothing at all. But I think I had a little bit of lip liner on and it's so comfortable and it just gives your lips like this healthy glow, like this little like healthy sheen. It's not glittery at all. It just gives them like a really beautiful reflect. So overall, I think that it's an incredible collection. Honestly, I would love to see them add to it. I know that's probably wishful thinking. I don't know if they've thought about that or if that's in the works at all or that they've talked about it, but I honestly would love to see them add to the collection. The packaging is like so unreal. It's just so unique. I love everything about it. I think it's all worth the hype. I know that everyone was so excited when they saw the packaging and everything. I think everything about it is amazing. And I can't believe that, I just can't believe it. Like looking at it, I if I was if I were them, I would be so damn proud of all of this. Oh, it's gluten-free. So overall, I am a huge, huge fan of this collection. It's absolutely incredible. And I just want to say a huge congratulations to Desi, Katie, and Anna. I have so much respect that they worked with Anna rather than some other like huge, you know, company under a huge umbrella just for the cash. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And you know what? Go ahead and hit that notification bell because I've been getting comments from people saying that they're not seeing my videos going up. So hit that notification bell so you guys know when I'm actually uploading. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All that stuff is listed down below. Also Facebook. I don't know if anybody cares about that, but I'm on Facebook too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.